The social media platform TikTok has long been criticized and accused of damaging the mental well-being of teenagers. At some points, accusations drive as far as causing crippling and even life-ending depression. Now, lawmakers in New Jersey are taking a stand to protect the mental well-being of children in the Garden State through a multi-state lawsuit. Here's Tanya Rivero. New York and New Jersey joining 12 other states suing social media platform TikTok for allegedly putting profits before the health of children and teens. TikTok has violated the New Jersey Consumer Fraud Act by designing a platform that consistently and deliberately targets our youth to become more compulsive users without making them or their parents fully aware of the risks. Citing internal company documents, the lawsuits say not only are TikTok and parent company ByteDance aware of the harmful effects of the popular platform, the harm is baked into the business model. The longer kids stay scrolling, the more ad money TikTok makes. The algorithm can be seen as addictive because it's feeding back what you're looking for. You then look for more rewards that leads you to continue scrolling, which inevitably leads you to have more screen time. In response to the lawsuits, TikTok says we strongly disagree with these claims. We remain deeply committed to the work to protect teens. We provide robust safeguards. We remove underage users, launch default screen time limits, family pairing, and default privacy for minors under 16. We've endeavored to work with the attorneys general, and it's disappointing they've taken this step. The country's top doctor last year sounded the alarm about the industry. The skewed and often distorted environment of social media often does a disservice to many of those children. We're constantly getting rewarded with short, intermittent videos. That might make, make it more difficult for you to read a long chapter in a textbook. That might make it more difficult for you to sit for a long period of time and take a test. Regardless of the outcome of this lawsuit, social media is not going away. So doctors say it's important parents help children become educated consumers of it by helping them identify ads and inappropriate content and helping them set boundaries. Doctors say no one should use social media for more than two hours a day.